All right, what's happening, everybody? Jay Shockblast here, and let us talk for a moment about Aura Singh. Aura Singh had one of the craziest creations uh, that I think I've ever seen in any form of entertainment. She literally appeared in a, uh, a pod racing scene in episode one, The Phantom Menace, for like three seconds, okay? And famously, George Lucas told the actress that played her that he would make her famous in three seconds. We'll and boy, oh boy, did he. Uh, Aura Singh became legendary after that scene because as Star Wars fans, we see little things like that pop up in the movies and we our minds race and we have to know more and, and we start searching out you know, more information and, and stuff like that about all these different characters and who they could be. There's tons of speculation and for three seconds of being in a movie, she now has one of the, the craziest backstories. And because of all this uh, sale to Disney stuff, I don't know what's what anymore. Come to brag I don't about know if it all falls under are. Legends or what, but her involvement in the Clone Wars kind of muddies the waters for me because for me Aura Singh is always going to be you know a former Jedi Padawan um, who got abducted and went into a life of crime um, and a Jedi hunter uh, she very famously uh, killed Sherrod Het uh, who was a Jedi that um, ended up exiled and became a uh, the communications a, uh, net has remained stable. It, uh, Tuscan, Tuscan Raider. And, like, Sherrod Het, not necessarily the most memorable of Jedi, but his son was Asherod Het, uh, who eventually became Darth Krayt. Um, and if you followed, um, you know, the... What was it? Cade Skywalker? Um, the Star Wars Legacy comics, uh, which I did. Um, Darth Krayt was... You know, one of the the more ruthless uh, Sith lords in the galaxy. Uh, he was he was pretty brutal. So, um, you know, that's part of her claim to fame. But through Star Wars Rebel or not Rebels, uh, Clone Wars, uh, we find out that this dude right here, like these two, were were macking it together at some point. And uh, yeah, look at those longing stares. Yeah, that's what she thinks of Hondo. So, uh, she's a former lover of Hondo, uh, they, they meet up, and she just totally, like, sticks her tongue down his throat, um, <laughs> it was, it was quite interesting, um, she also had a hand at, uh, she was almost like a motherly figure to Boba Fett, um, she, you know, rescued him, and she got him started with his training, uh, she also is a bounty hunter with her, his father, Django. So that's probably, you know, why they linked up to begin with. So, you know, she's got such a crazy backstory, all from just three seconds in a movie where uh, George Lucas was really just trying to fill some space, you know, during the, the pod racing scene, trying to put in some interesting characters. Uh, she's a very famous sniper. Good to see um, you again. This and she's got the antenna in her head where she she can communicate. She also linked up with Bosk during the Clone Wars, uh, which gave Bosk uh, a little bit of a, a backstory as well. Um, so yeah, man. Uh, One more event to go, she's, and it's the hardest she's such a, one there is. An interesting character. Uh, there you go. She can Plus, do that. Uh, the uh, grapple hook, and amongst other things. Uh, what else has she got? Uh, she has uh, climbing Lego walls and doing agility objects. Shocker. Uh, what's this? That's a droid mission. So, um, she's obviously used to being here on desert planets. Um, great character, and I'm really glad they added her to the game. I love the way she's kind of got some sass there with her uh, hands on her hips, and she kind of, you know gives that grimacing look. Um, I don't know what her race is. Uh, I, I guess she's just human, but she's all, she's got this milky white skin. Um, I don't know, man. Aura Singh, though. Uh, she is definitely up there as one of the kind of legendary bounty hunters of the Star Wars universe. 
Um, I mean, I don't know where I'd put her, but, uh, you know, she's she's definitely an interesting character. Definitely glad they added her to the game. Uh, very, very great choice. Uh, she was ruthless, and I, I love the way she was portrayed in the Clone Wars. Um, I, I don't know. I guess I, you know, she had to be something. I mean, in the movie, she just kind of stood there. And in the comics, she was ruthless, too. But, uh, man, she was way more ruthless than I even expected um, when you kind of put a little bit of personality to her in the Clone Wars. So what do you guys think of Aura Singh? Um, there she is. You can get her as part of the Clone Wars character pack in LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and we'll see you.